Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ray Ann. If you are new, and today I am going to be doing my February BoxyCharm unboxing and try on. We got a lot of products that I loved in this box. I mean, there were a couple, but so far, so good. I came up with this look. This month's theme is called Galaxy Glow which is what I gave you, is a Galaxy Glow with the products included in this box. This isn't something you will wear out every day, but of course you don't have to use the lip. But I thought I would add in the touch because it was Galaxy Glow and it's a total metallic lip. So, I thought I went with the vibes. But anyways, if you'd like to see what I got in this month's BoxyCharm and me try on all the products on my face, give you my thoughts and first impressions, then please keep watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And with all the new changes that YouTube has, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload because YouTube's changing and everything's changing and now they're picking who they want you to see, basically like Facebook and Instagram. So if you like and enjoy my videos, please don't forget to hit that notification bell, subscribe to me, and yeah, so you'll be notified every time I upload. But let's get into the video. Okay, so we are gonna start off with the first products in this box. So the first product I have is this pure, Cosmetics X Faux Lip Plumping Lip Exfoliator. And it looks kind of like a, a lipstick tube thingy. So, this retails for $17. And it says, it basically is a boost of shea butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating beads. And it's a 4-in-1 lip scrub pencil that exfoliates, plumps, hydrates, and soothes. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how to use it because it didn't come in a box or anything. It just came like this. So I'm guessing I just put it on my lips. Scrub it away. <laughs> so let's try that. So you can definitely feel the roughness of it. Like at first it feels soft and then it gets like incredibly rough. Okay, so I can definitely feel. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but this is just what I'm doing because there's no directions. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe it away. It tastes really good. <laughs> I don't know, I have another lip scrub from another brand. And I like that lip scrub a lot more. I don't know about this. I feel like my lips are kind of rough. They don't feel soft. I don't know. I guess I'll see in a little bit if it plumps it. Made them more better for my lipstick. What the heck's going on? I am going to do my eyebrows. And then I will be back with another product. I'm going to be using two products. These are for our eyes. So I'm going to talk about those right now and then we're gonna start our eyes. So the next thing we got is this three piece, pro, three piece Pro Crown Brush Trio. And I'm only gonna be using one of the brushes for our eyes. The other two I will talk about in a minute. But this brush trio is retailing for $29.99 and it comes with two face brushes and an eye brush. I don't know, I guess you can use this as concealer, but I feel like this is like a shader brush more. It's a little fluffier than a normal shader brush, but I'm gonna basically use it as like a shader brush. So this is what I'm gonna be using right now. This kind of feel like the Wet n Wild brushes. Like, let me see. Like this is a Wet n Wild brush. And I don't know if you can tell, this is a Wet n Wild brush, this is a crown brush, and I don't know if you can tell, but they look like the exact same brush, except this pink is a little more pink and this is a lighter. But they look like the exact same brush with just different labels. They feel exactly the same, they have the little groove right here, they look exactly the same. And these brushes are like a dollar, a dollar to two dollars. And three of these brushes are $29.99, so we are going to compare. Compare these brushes. Actually, this is more of like a, I think this is a fluffy blending brush, but it's more like flat. So that's what I'm gonna use this for. 
And I may use this one on this side and this one on this side so I can compare them because if Crown Brushes is charging more for the exact same brushes Wet n Wild makes, you should just get the Wet n Wild brushes. Because I like those Wet n Wild brushes. So basically we're just going to start on the eyes. I'm going to go for a pink mauve look today. And I grabbed like three palettes because I don't know which one I'm going to use. But I'm going to start off with the Modern Renaissance um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Tempura. And I'm basically just going to go like all over my lid with that. Okay, so I'm looking for like a light pink shade to start off in my crease. And I'm going to take my Too Faced natural matte palette and i'm gonna go in with lace teddy which is the second color and it's just like a very light pink shade so now we're gonna go back into the modern renaissance palette and i am going to take Bon Fuesco. Bon, what is it? Buon Bon Fix Buon Fuesco. Fresco. And it's like a pink mauve shade, and I'm just going to take that into my crease. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of I'm gonna use this brush. So now I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. It doesn't have a name. It's just the shade right here. Okay, this is a crown brush on this side. I want to use that Wet n Wild brush and I want to see if it does the same exact thing, feels exactly the same. Because to me, it feels exactly like that Wet n Wild brush. And you can't fool me. I ain't gonna buy no crown brushes and spend a ton of money on them when I can get Wet n Wild for so much more cheaper. Who are you trying to fool, Crown? Who are you trying to fool? This is the Wet n Wild brush. You know what? I think the Wet n Wild brush feels softer. I don't know if it's because I washed it and it has like coconut oil on it, but compared to this one, this feels rough. This feels rough on my eye. This feels softer, way softer. And in fact, I like the way it blended it out more. So yeah, don't waste your money on these crown brushes. I don't recommend. Like it's cool that we get brushes, you know, especially for people that are building up their makeup collection that don't have brushes. Yeah, it's really cool, but I wouldn't recommend you go out and buy this brush these brushes from crown brush and spend probably between five and ten dollars on the brush who knows how much they are when you can go to wet n wild and get them for like a dollar a couple of dollars so yeah don't do it so i'm going to use the carly bible palette again and i'm going to go in with this darker mauve red shade product is this cover fx shimmering veil and this retails for $28 and it's multi-use it's a shimmering cream color it's crease proof and basically you can put it on your eyes or your face anywhere on your face highlight it's basically just multi-use you can use it anywhere and when I think of this I think of this as like kind of like those Stila Stila products, but it comes in the shade Amethyst, which is like this purpley pink color, which I'm totally digging colors like this lately. Basically, I'm just going to put this all over the lid. I was going to put like concealer all over my lid, but I really kind of don't feel like doing that. Just going to go straight in with this. total just straight up like glitter in a tube but it's not like chunky glitter like the stila ones are like chunky you know what i mean okay before this goes bad i'm blending it 
I'm basically taking this shade that's almost gone, the middle shade from the Carly Bible palette, and I'm just going to blend it into the crease. I kind of should have put concealer on first because then I think it would be more vibrant. It would stand out more. But it's like I can layer it without it look, looking super chunky. You know those cover, not the cover effect, the ColourPop things that are supposed to be like the steel of things. Like I'm wondering if this is what it's like. I'm going back into that dark color in the Carly Bible palette. Carly Bible palette. And I'm just deepening up the outer corner again. Just blending it. It kind of reminds me of like the ColourPop super shock shadows like not the formula but you know how when you put a color pop super shock shadow that's like glitter onto your lid how it's just like this glitter that's there that's not chunky glitter that's what that feels like to me because it's just like dry and it looks kind of just like those these totally a win like i really love it so i'm gonna finish like part of my face and then i'll be back with using the rest of the products that I got in my box. Okay, so I may look a little crazy because I baked my face, but the next product I have, I'm going to use is the next brush we got in the three-piece crown brush. So this seems like a brush I would use as a bronzer. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna use it for a bronzer. And I'm basically gonna take my butter bronzer. And I'm just gonna bronze up my face. Ooh. You know, I've been using this Moda I think it's like royal something bronzer brush that I got in a boxy charm and it's a little more bigger but I kind of like this one more and this brush definitely feels softer than that eyeshadow brush it's a little more denser I don't know I like that brush because it's real fluffy and I can just really pack on the bronzer everywhere this is like for more precise. I'm gonna probably contour with this better. All right, so, so far, I do kind of like this. This is a win. Now we are gonna take this next brush, which is a smaller brush, and we're going to contour. And I'm gonna use my Tarte Clay Clay palette, and I'm gonna use this shade, Terracotta. Okay, so I kind of like these brushes. Not bad, not bad. So now I am going to put on blush. And for the next product that we got in our Boxy Charm, this Ofra Pop Up Mini Palette. Now, this is a magnetic palette. You can put a bunch of singles in here. And I was so excited to get this because there was this or a naked. It also came with a blush, this blush. It was blush winter rose glow which is this blush up here which i'll show you right now but i want to talk about this palette i was excited to get this palette because you could get this or a naked palette and from like subscription boxes i've received a lot of like just little you know all these circle eyeshadows blushes highlighters and they're just like building up in this stash in this drawer and i hated it and i really wanted to get a z palette but I never just got one and I was so glad that I got this like so many people like hate this but I freaking love it I think it's awesome because I have all of these blushes highlighters and these eyeshadows that I wanted to put in here so we are going to use this blush right here which is the blush that came in the palette so this is the blush we received in our palette So yeah, that was this product. Let me give you the details on it. It retails for $19. The blush refill is retails for $12. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and we have one more product, so I'll be right back. So I still need to put eyelashes on before I reveal the last product, but I was thinking of using this with my lipstick. I use the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Love Sick. 
And I'm going to try to put this over it and see how it looks. If it doesn't turn out, this won't go in the video. But we are going to see. It doesn't even feel like anything. It's tripping me out because it doesn't even feel like anything. This is the total, like, the theme of this month's BoxyCharm is, like, galaxy. And that's how I feel. I feel like a galaxy girl. Okay, guys, my battery's gonna die, so I gotta do this quick. So the last product is this Vintage Smoky Eye Pencil by Jessica Liebesk. Libeskin, Libeskin, I'm not sure, but this retails for $21. It's a rich pigmented smoky eye pencil, it delivers jet back definition, and you can create a smudgy, saturated color, or creamy soft formula that glides on the lids without tugging or pulling. So I'm just going to use this as a regular eyeliner on my upper lid. See how it performs. Definitely does tug at your lid, which is good. I don't know how I feel about eye pencils though. I like it. So, this is the look. All right, everyone. So that was this month's Boxy Charm. It was super fun. I really loved it. I mean, this isn't a look that I probably would walk out the house with. This is more of an editorial look, which is always fun to do because I love makeup and I like to be creative and I just love it. So if you enjoyed this month's box, don't forget to just subscribe down below to BoxyCharm. It's a $21 a month beauty box that you get full size products that are always worth way more than $21, which is awesome. I'm so glad. I love BoxyCharm. It's a great way to build up your collection. I have a link down below where you can sign up. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next one. Bye.